Welcome. In this video, we demonstrate craniums and synapses' ability to estimate the physical properties of mixtures. For this demonstration, we are using cranium. The identical capabilities are also available in synapse. Please see our videos on downloading and installing the basic editions of cranium and synapse if you need a working version of the software to follow this demonstration. First, open the MKS examples knowledge base. This knowledge base is included with all our software products. The most recent version is also available for download from the library section of the Molecular Knowledge Systems website. For this demonstration, we will create a new binary mixture consisting of 2-methyloxalane and gamma-valerolactone. Both of these chemicals are bio-based chemicals which are being investigated as replacements for some currently used solvents. To demonstrate cranium and synapse's physical property estimation capabilities, we will add these two components as two new chemicals, chemicals for which we have no known data. Change to the chemicals chapter by clicking on the tab at the top of the window. Add a new blank page to the chemicals chapter by either pressing on the large plus button in the toolbar or using the add new page command found on the edit menu. Click the left mouse button in the Pages Identifier field and enter 2-MeOx as a short name for 2-methyloxalane. Add a reference and comments. Scroll to the Chemical Structure section. Click on the Structure field and enter 2-methyloxalane's molecular structure in the editor. We start by entering a cyclopentane ring double-clicking on the top carbon to change it to an oxygen atom and adding a methyl group. Press the Save button. As we see, the current chemical has no additional data. Select the Compute Estimates command from the Commands menu, press the Start button, and then the Save button. Cranium estimates up to 30 different physical properties for the entered chemical. These estimates are generated solely from the chemical's molecular structure. Add another blank page to the chapter for our second chemical. Click the left mouse button on the page's identifier and enter GVL as the short name for gamma valerolactone. Enter a reference and comments. Press the Save button. Again, scroll to the Chemical Structure section. Click on the Structure field and enter gamma valerolactone's molecular structure in the editor. Start with a cyclopentane ring, change the top carbon to an oxygen, add a methyl group, and an oxygen atom, double bonded to the ring. Press the Save button. From the Commands menu, select the Compute Estimates command. Press Start and press Save. Again, Cranium estimates up to 30 different physical properties for the entered chemical. Estimates generate solely from the chemical's molecular structure. Now we will create a mixture containing these two chemicals. Change to the Mixtures chapter by clicking on the tab at the top of the window. Press the Add button, located in Cranium's toolbar, to create a new blank page within the Mixtures chapter. Click the left mouse button in the Windows Identifier field and give this new mixture a name. Enter a reference and comments. Press Save. Click the left mouse button on the Components Sections table. Cranium displays the Components Edit dialog. Click the left mouse button on the first row and press the Edit button. Cranium displays the Component Edit dialog. Enter 2MeOx as the name of the mixture's first component. Enter Comments and press the OK button. Add GVL as the second component in our binary mixture. Select the second row, press the Edit button, this time press the List button which shows a list of all chemicals in the current document. Select GVL from the list and press the OK button. Add a comment and finally press the Save button. 
A mixture's name and its components are basically all the information Cranium needs to begin generating estimates. Scroll down to the Phase Equilibrium section. Click on the Property Control. Select VLE Bubble Point as the property and change the values type to Temperatures Estimate. We must now enter the compositions at which we want Cranium to generate estimates. Click the left mouse button on the sections table. Cranium displays an edit dialog. Click the left mouse button to select the first row and press the edit button. Cranium displays the dialog for entering a single datum. Enter a composition, 5 weight percent, 95 weight percent, and a pressure. Press the OK button. We can also enter a series of compositions. Click and hold the left mouse button on the second row and drag the mouse downward to select several additional rows. Then press the Series button and select the Composition Series command. Cranium activates the Composition Series dialog. The dialog shows that 2-methyloxalane is specified as the variable component and gamma valerolactone is specified as the remainder component. Enter a fixed pressure of 101.325 kilopascals, a starting composition of 10 weight percent, and an ending composition of 95 weight percent. Press OK. You can see that Cranium has generated a series of compositions between these two composition limits. Press the Save button to store these compositions into our current knowledge base. Now that we have our composition values, we can generate estimates for the bubble point by clicking the right mouse button on the fields table and selecting the Compute Estimates command from the Commands menu. Press the Start button, and then the Save button. Cranium has estimated the bubble point for each entered datum. These estimated values are shown numerically in the fields table and graphically in the fields plot. Click the right mouse button in the Sections table and select the Copy State Variables command. Click on the Property Control and select VLE Dew Point as the property and keep Temperatures Estimates as the values type. Click the right mouse button in the Fields table. Press the Paste State Variables command. Click the right mouse button again and select the Compute Estimates command. Press Start. and then press Save. Cranium has estimated the dew point at each of the entered values. Scroll down and click the right mouse button on the section's graph. Select the Edit Attributes command, press the Add button, and select Bubble Point as the additional physical property to show. Cranium will now display the estimated vapor liquid equilibrium phase envelope. A question that would obviously arise is how accurate are these estimates? Fortunately, phase equilibrium values have been measured for this system. The paper containing these data is shown here. The actual data is shown in Table 5. Copying these data from the paper into Cranium will enable us to evaluate the accuracy of our estimated values. The data are first copied into the Scratchpad dialog. This will enable us to add tie line values, calculate the second component's composition, enter the pressure, and rearrange the values into the correct format. Once we have done these procedures, we can copy these values and paste them into Cranium as dew point data values. One change we must make is the data from the paper was given in terms of mole fraction. Once we make this change, we click the right mouse button and select the Paste Data command. We can then click again and change to the Bubble Point Data Values property. Select these data from the Scratchpad dialog. copy these values, click the right mouse button, 
and select the Paste Data command. Scrolling to the graph, we can click the right mouse button, select the Edit Graph Attributes command, add the Dew Point property, and see once again the vapor liquid equilibrium phase envelope. The agreement between the estimates, shown as diamonds, and the data values, shown as squares, is quite good. Very good considering that all these estimates were generated from only knowledge of the component's chemical's molecular structure. However, we often have, or will obtain, some experimental data on the components we are investigating. For example, change to the chemicals chapter and enter a value of 480.7 K for gamma valerolactone's boiling point. Enter a reference. This value was taken from the NIST webbook. And comments. Next, navigate to 2 methyl oxalanes page and enter a value of 352 K for the boiling point. This value was also taken from the webbook. Enter comments and press save. Now return to the mixtures chapter and re-estimate the phase equilibrium values. The estimated values are now in much better agreement with the experimental values. This concludes our demonstration of craniums and synapses capabilities for estimating the properties of mixtures. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. And, as always, please contact us if you have any questions about cranium or synapse or any questions about physical properties in general. Thank you.